Hey, what's up guys? OG Apex Adam here. Anyway, we last left off after beating the Fire Temple. Now, what we want to do... And, oh yeah, by the way, yes, I am back. And this time I'm not taking any more vacations till March. So we should be good for now. So go in here. Play Zelda's lullaby, and now she will actually increase your magic meter twice as much. But on this game, you like it's not really that big mandatory for this game because you know you do not use nearly as much magic on this game as you do on the Majora's Mask or Wind Waker. Anyway, but this is a hundred percent walkthrough. Yeah, we're almost at the evilest part of the game. Yeah, I know it's kind of hard to see in the volcano, but don't worry, this is the last time we ever have to come here. Now, yeah, well, basically what you want to do is destroy this boulder with the Megaton Hammer. Climb up this ladder. Uh, what does Navi want? An Arctic wind blows from Zora's River. Yes, Zora's River is actually our next destination, but we're actually going to go and get the fourth bottle first. Because the fourth bottle is kind of difficult, and you might want to get a. Yeah, you can equip your. If you would like, you can go back equip your green tunic again. Oh yeah, you need to make it night. I don't know. Because there are two gold skulltulas here that you need the megaton hammer for, but they only appear at night. So open this, and it should be behind this. Yeah, by the way, at this point, one thing you want to do is empty out all your bottles, because you're going to need three, uh, you're going to need, like, the three other ones to get this. Like, if three other ones are not required to get this bottle, but it's highly recommended. You'll be doing it forever if you only have one or two bottles. Now the second one is actually under this boulder right here. Now we should be done with all of them on Death Mountain, but let me double check because I know we're still missing one. Kakariko Village, we should... Shouldn't we have already gotten them all in there? Oh, uh, no, not yet. So now, I'm actually going to go play the Prelude of Light. Mm. 
Now, what we want to do is go to Hyrule Field. Now, there are ten big pose. And I think when I first got my horse before the Force Temple, I showed you it, but I wasn't able to do anything. Because, like, I don't have... I didn't have the bow at the time, but now that we have the bow, we can actually take care of them. Now, as I was saying, there are ten big poses hidden across Hyrule Field. We need to capture all ten of them in bottles to get... We need to locate each one and capture every one in the, the ten in a bottle. Now, the big pose will only appear if you're on your horse. If you're not on your horse, they'll just be regular pose. But it's because, so they like have to have big, big pose. Now I'm gonna show you where the, fir the first one is just right outside the castle. Right outside Hyrule, the, right outside the market. Right here. Now just kill it. All you gotta do is walk up to it, and you can automatically catch it in a bottle. And if your wallet's kind of like a little empty, don't worry, because he is actually going to refill it. Basically, every big po you get, you'll get 50, so 50 times 10. That's like 500? Yeah, 500. So even if you have zero rupees, your wallet will be filled up. Ah, oh, I missed that. Well, that's where the second one is. Let's go try again to get it. We're not going to be able to get all 10 of them. This, if, like, if we do, I'm going to be pretty impressed. But we're probably not going to get them all. Because this side quest usually takes me about like 20 minutes. We'll get at least some of them. Ah! And by the way, my favorite, if you ever run out of arrows, I'm, I'll show you when I run out of arrows. There's some grass patches you can use to get some. Like, as you can see, you just saw, I think you just saw one of them. Alright, let's try this again. Trust me, this, the fourth, having four bottles will make the next, the mini dungeon before the next dungeon ten times easier. Ah. Sorry, I mean, I'm, I usually play the 3DS version, so it's kind of hard with these controls. Oh my god! There we go. Now the third one is a little bit kind of like in an area we've never really gone to before because there was really no other reason. It's actually down here as you can see. See, there's like this place where there's like a little river. It's at that very end of Zora's River, basically. Because you can't go any farther. It's basically where Gerudo Valley goes. Alright, now just kind of ride your horse through these little bushes. And there it is. There, and now since I'm almost out, I'm actually, well first I'm going to go turn these in. The ghost shop, there was a place when you were a kid where you got lots of rupees. I don't know if you remember it, but I'll show you. That's where the ghost shop is. That's where you need to turn all these in. Now we got three, that means we just need seven more. 
And if you and if all that fails, there's also a place in Kokiri Forest you can go buy arrows. The same place you bought the Deku Shield at the very beginning of the game. You can buy arrows. Brave and handsome, too. <laughs> Your name is Link, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be surprised. I can read people's minds. As good as you, I can run a different kind of business. <laughs> My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of the great Ganondorf, it's a fine time for a business like this. <laughs> oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. <gasps> Cold pearls are spirits of concentrated hatred that appeared in the fields of the graveyard. First off, you want to give him this. You want to give him all three of them that you have. As I said, there's ten in total. And he gives you 50 rupees each time you get one. What? <laughs> Did not mean to take out my sword. Sorry, ghost. I didn't mean to like startle you. I'm gonna show you where three more of them are if I have time. Let's try. Well, no, not yet. I'm actually gonna go see if I can get some more arrows. As you can see, there's a little patch of grass right there. If I don't get any arrows from this one, then I'm just gonna go buy some. Oh, I did. What am I? What can I look? only 10. Yeah, I'm just gonna go buy some. If you want to, you can actually get some rupees, considering the fact that we planted that magic bean. It goes like a whole trip around the forest, which is kind of annoying. Just to get like right above where it originally was. Any day now. Yeah, just if you don't have rupees for arrows, you can use that method. But I think they're only there once, like once you get them. I wonder if this rupee's still back here. No, but... do I already have? I think I might be, I'll just die these. There we go. Alright. So next we want to go back into Hyrule Field. So that is actually all the time I have for this part. Join me next time where we will continue this side quest.